guys today we are going to do a quick video about the beast uh, I say quick but you never know with me so yeah I will try to <clears throat> stay on the main subject and not go too much in depth but it's pretty hard not to when you talk about such features like the beast so yeah as always, you can find a lot of guides uh, in my Discord, so make sure to check it out. Link will be in the description. Uh, there is the Beast introduction, so yeah. You can find mo the, most of these information in the, in the game, in the, in the information uh, interface that I already showed you. So yeah. If you want to read it without joining the, the Discord, you can always pause the video and read what I'm showing you right now. And there is also a little image document that I did for free to play. But we are going to talk about this in the video. So yeah, let's get into the game. Check it out. Oh, annoying pop-ups. Always wanting you to spam. Um, honestly, it's not the subject, but I really think that it shouldn't be allowed. Like, opening up a pop-up pop -up, pop -up with things you have to buy every time is very intrusive. It is a pain in the ass, to be honest. And, yeah, and I'm a spender, and I really don't like that. They shouldn't send you pop up with uh, things to buy. Like if it's like this, it pop ups when you are in the game. But every time you log in, this is just straight up annoying and intrusive. So developers, if you see that, I know that it's a good strategy to make money and all. But I'm not so sure that you will make that much money with this technique. It's just a pain in the ass for players. So stop doing that, please. Now, uh, for the beast, let's start with the research. So, as you guys know, or maybe you don't, but now, now you will. There is the beast growth. Okay, this is all the beast related research. And to unlock the T10 3, you will have to max out the beast growth. So, same uh, advice as always, don't max everything out on the way, just rush to get these. And once you get there, you can go back to the tree and max things out slowly. The reason that you want to get the last node fast is because Capture Master grants a chance to directly get two or three star beasts from the B star, okay. Uh, there is also the percentage written, but yeah, these are the beast trap. As you can see, I am capturing at the moment, and yeah, you will get beasts of a battle level. And if you are lucky, you can even get a three star legendary beast, which is really huge. So, yeah, first advice get there. Obviously, along the way, you have some. Some other cool stuff like clues enhancement grants more beast clues via releasing uh, releasing beast. Yeah, you, you have some cool stuff, reduces the cost for capturing, increases the fodder, stuff like that. So this is the first advice regarding beasts. Second advice, always uh, capture beasts. Your beast trap should be working non-stop, okay? Early on in the game, it's pretty hard. It costs a lot of resources and you don't have many. But you should be... Like, if you manage your resources well and play enough to plunder and stuff like that, you shouldn't have any problem. And yeah, it's a big advantage on others if you can keep your trap, uh, your base trap up and running all the time. Especially early on. But yeah, anyway... First advice, then second advice, um, mm, I, th I think we'll stop that. We'll get into the beast reserve later on. So yeah. Now let's, let's go to the beasts. As always, you have growth, battle, beast, okay? 
in exchange you can see the beast so my advice dodi kurus i don't even know how you pronounce that but yeah this shit you don't go for it vulpavus you don't go for it either i think it's latin name so i will not use the english accent and just say it <laughs> with the french accent it makes more sense to me but maybe i'm wrong giant warthog useless as well um some people will maybe argue because it increases the belt output and gold output as well as stone well, basically all resources but these are the hardest to come by but honestly it is not worth it you you can release these or actually don't release them because you will have to feed them but yeah don't don't upgrade them these three you don't upgrade them um the epic ones i also don't recommend to upgrade them at all even if you are free to play i really 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 don't recommend that you upgrade the the epic beasts for combat because at some point you will have enough for the legendary you get lucky and you will slowly grind your way on your legendary beast and the gap is just too insane between the epic and legendary uh, as a reference look at a max arc todus okay cavalry attack 30 percent battle speed 65 percent okay with just these two Attack and, ca and battle speed, 65, okay. On a legendary beast, the battle speed is tri twice as good, okay. And cavalry attack, same, twice as good. So, yeah, the, the gap is just too insane. So, don't don't lose time on epic, guys. Um, to, to star up a beast, okay, it costs a uh, beast beast uh, beast uh, my bad beast fruit and beast fruit is really hard to come by so don't waste beast fruit on epic guys you are uh, yeah it, it's even more true for a free to play actually like <clears throat> when you're free to play you are like oh i'm not i'm never gonna get legendaries um uh, i should go for the 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 epic ones I will be able to le level them up faster, and that is true, but at some point you will get there, and when you will get there, if you have used up all your beast fruits on an epic one, you are fucked, because releasing a beast doesn't give back the beast fruit, so just avoid, uh, just avoid epic beasts, keep your beast fruit for legendary you might be held back for a while but at the if if you plan to game for a long time to play the game for a long time and you aim at the end game and like the long run it's a long shot i know but guys really don't don't uh use any beast fruit for epic beast uh, speaking of beast fruit, there is the beast fruit farm there. This should also be running 24-7, okay? Every time, it should be running every time. And it costs gold, so once again, very hard to come by in the early stages of the game. But at some point, you will have enough gold. And I really... Uh, when, you, when you are able to to yeah to have them up and running all the time uh don't forget to do it because beast fruit is just too important and as a spender you should also do it because you will upgrade more more um, more beasts in the uh yeah you will upgrade more beasts so even if you get some in the packs and stuff like that it's never enough so yeah as you can see i know what i'm talking about i have a lot of beasts and yeah so trust me keep your beast fruit farms up and running all the time it's really important and at the, at first you will be like oh i'm wasting gold and stuff like that but yeah at some point you will just need way too many like 
imagine I want to upgrade my Megal. Oh, I can't see it because I need some more. But let's say I want to upgrade my ground slots. Uh, it costs almost a hundred. Okay, so yeah, a lot of beast fruit. You will need tons. Let's get back to it. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, the Epic Beast for combat, it's a big nope, don't invest in them. My advice is that you release them to get Beast Clue, and with Beast Clue, you buy Megaloceros copies. This is, um, I had an argument with someone on Discord this morning, because he obviously doesn't understand uh, the game mechanics, but well, at some point he will get so far in the game that they will understand that what I was saying is true. As a free-to-play player, Megaloceros should be your first and yeah, your first focus. All your beast clue should be spent into buying Megaloceros copies, okay? Uh, so release all the epic ones. The blue ones, you don't have to release them because you can directly fit them because they are the same quality okay as megaloceros they are rare so this is used to get the this one you you don't release them but you give them to megaloceros okay to feed him and star him up i i can show you right there okay you can use these to feed him it doesn't matter uh the the beast it is in only the rarity matter so yeah epic big nope release them get this clue this clue spent on megaloceros until you get him to 11 star okay once you have megaloceros to 11 star which is a long shot as you guys can see i don't have it uh for just yet i'm gonna get him this week but yeah i don't have him for now so once you get the Megaloceros to 11 star, you can release the blue one, all the blue one, and all the epic ones like this, okay? These can all go to the trash bin and the beast, the beast clue that you get, you can buy uh, legendary copies, okay, of Hero Beast. Not before, because Megaloceros is just the best beast in the game. That's it guys, I said it, Megaloceros is the best beast in the game. Why is it that Megaloceros is the best beast in the game? It's like a gathering beast, what are you telling us? It's a rare beast, yeah, what are you saying guys? Well, the reason is pretty simple. First, it increases your gathering speed uh, when maxed out by 15%, okay? It's not that big, but it's 50% more than anyone who isn't using or upgrading Megaloceros, okay? So, yeah. This is 50% more, and 15, my bad. And then there is the most broken part, right there, okay? Bonus resource gathering. What is that? This, my guy, is pretty simple. This is basically the same bonus as Chief's Lady title. You can see right there, bonus resource gathering, okay? This gives 5% more than if you had a Chief Lady title uh, gathering wise, okay? So anyone can get there, it will take time, but as a free to play player, it's basically like having Chief's Lady every day, every time without the title so it's it's even better as i said five percent more so yeah everyone everyone should aim for that because in the greatest continent okay earlier you have basically three days where you are between two and three days where you have to gather so for uh, day two resource gathering Free choice, I recommend gathering. This makes two, okay? If you don't don't take a gathering on free choice, 
it's one but then there is day seven first week barbarian fastness so no gathering but second week killing event most people would be gathering so this is the third day okay so there are seven day in the week okay and you can gather up to three times a week which is almost half of the rvr so almost half of the rvr stages are based on gathering so this is why megalosaurus is the best beast in the game because it helps you in half of the earlier events okay this is broken uh it also increases your gathering speed for like when you are sleeping so yeah it's an overall an overall very 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 good beast and it it is even more true for free to play players and it's definitely worth the beast fruit spent in people might think otherwise but i'm sorry to tell you to tell you that guys but you guys are wrong you are wrong this this is the bottom of it this is wrong if you understand how bonus resource gathering works uh it it basically gives you bonus resources for each hour spent gathering so if you pre-gather for one day and six hour you will get you will get an amount uh, an insane amount of points for gathering day or even resources this is crazy guys uh pe people who don't understand that are really doing a huge 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 mistake and when they will realize that they will be six or maybe eight months in the game and it, it will be too late to come back so trust me guys if you this is the best decision that you could you you can ever make beast wise just release everything that is epic and buy megalosaurus copies and don't stop until it is maxed out and when it is maxed out and only then you can then buy Legendary Beast with Beast Clue. Now, um, for the, the combat and Beast, Legendary Beast, okay, what I recommend is that you go for ground slots. Why? Oh, actually, uh, some people once again will argue and this time I can't deny what uh, their opinion because it is really arguable on that one, okay? But my advice, this is my advice, okay? Some people will argue and they're, what they will tell you is completely valid. But yeah, my advice is that you go for ground slot. The reason for that is that you have a lot of features in the game where you can choose your troop type, okay? So, as an example, in the Trial Valley, okay, you you don't choose the troops that you use, okay? It is pretty fine. So, and there is the the Beast Day, okay? So, if you can ch ch select your troops, it means that Ground Slot would prevail because it is not troop type related so for all these features that don't allow you to select a troop type so there is the trial valley there is the beast reserve right there elite formation okay there are some others and some more will get released in the future you can be sure of that guys uh, like uh, at the moment we have barbarian fastness right they will at some point release an event that is just like Barbarian Fastness. Only difference is that we won't be able to choose our tr the troop type that we that we use. Or rather, we can select another troop type, but you will have uh, a Mattus, okay? So you really should use the troop type recommended for the specific day. So yeah, you you need to to go for ground slots especially if you are free to play because you won't be able to afford a lot of beasts 
and this is the more versatile beast okay what you also have to understand is that if you picked infantry or archers you will run mixed comps okay so you can select uh troop specific beasts this is one more thing to take into account if you are using cavalry this is pretty arguable because you will always just use cavalry alone so except for the events and stuff like that where you can choose your troop type cavalry is the the most arguable choice regarding going for ground slots but still i would recommend going for ground slots so yeah pretty arguable i won't go to the i won't go too much in depth uh for that subject mm, my advice is to go for ground slots i give you some lead as to why um if you guys are interested really don't hesitate to hit me up on discord we can discuss this more in depth and further and as i said there are a lot of points against that that advice that are valid and they are really valid like it's it's not like sometimes it's okay but i will still go against what people recommend but this time um yeah this is my advice if you don't share it i can't really depending on your points i can't really deny them so yeah i recommend grand slot but don't take my my word for granted uh this is a pretty arguable choice and yeah i think that i will do another video to present all the beasts like one for gastronis one for ground slot one for mammoth one for smilodon okay um what you can see right here are the pay to win beasts uh there are some legendary beasts that you can get from beast clue this includes the crocodile and uh very new beast uh the giant ape i think that we can see it right here yeah the giant ape these beasts are pay to win i will not talk about them in this video um i did a video for both pay to win beasts uh and i gave my opinion on them and stuff like that so if you are interested you can always check it out uh yeah you can always check it out on my youtube Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful, guys. I hope that you liked it. As always, subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, and join us on Discord if you want to go further. And catch you on the next video, guys. Thank you.